Hello friends. Today will be a video, you can say, basic on the care of Zamiopulcas, but at the same time these bases are very important for the stable growth and development of this plant. We will pay very close attention today directly to watering Zamiopulcas. How often it should be done, in what soil to pick up, in what pot to plant, all the features, what water even to water, we will discuss. After all, this is basically what will determine whether your plant grows or not, whether it is healthy or not, whether its stems are tall, whether the plant itself is large, or whether it will stay compact. All of this depends exactly on watering, and today we'll go over it in detail. Despite the fact that the video is enough about the basic fundamentals, even professional gardeners, many will probably be able to remember something useful for themselves, maybe something forgotten, and apply it to the care of your plants. So, Zamiocolcas, or also called Dollar Tree, we have moisture is not very fond of moisture. It's actually from a fairly arid region. And even this plant likes to be called a succulent, just because of the fact that this plant is not liked in high humidity. It grows in very dry, hot places, where it receives occasional watering. Rains are extremely rare, so this plant has a very strong moisture storing root system. There are very thick tubers inside this plant. They contain moisture and nutrients that the plant stores. In times of drought, but what happens if we don't know this and water our plants frequently? In this case, the whole system will simply start to collapse, the root system will begin to rot. Because this plant, once again, it is designed and is only able to live during periods where there is periodic drought. That is now, let's say, the ground is dry, here is dried up, a couple of days of dry ground let it stand still, nothing bad will happen to the plant. But if you, if you water more often than necessary, then more often than necessary, it will start to cause problems. By the way, how to prevent these problems, to protect against them, I will tell you more later in this video. This advice, it's really just the best, I'd say, for this plant. I've talked about him more than once. We'll know about him soon enough. So, watering frequency. As the soil dries out, let the soil dry out some more. There are even a couple days when it seems dry. Basically, there will be no problems from this 100%. Of course, watering the plants is still necessary, do not forget. But rarely. I water about once every week and a half, somewhere around that. Everyone is different, everyone has different moisture, different soil. And we go straight to the ground. While we're at it, we're going to do very well in the ground. Coconut fibers. I've got them right here. I don't know if you can see it well. That's what coconut fibers are like. You can also use some of the sand, quite good for the soil. Well, ordinary earth can be used as well. The soil, importantly, should not be heavy. Must not be highly moisture accumulating. It should be so somewhere around medium or light. One of two things, but just a super tip that has really boosted this plant a couple times for me. Really? That's something you can add charcoal to. You add pieces of charcoal directly to the soil, and it's just a wonderful solution. It is by many accounts downright perfect, ideal for this plant. You can, by the way, I will leave you a link in the description to the full video about charcoal. You can check it out, there's a lot of interesting stuff in there too. Well, the soil seems to be taken care of. The main thing is that it should not accumulate moisture too much so that the moisture doesn't take longer than usual to make it pass easily from our pot to the bottom, pass into our trays, and everything is fine. There was no swamp. Now that we've talked about the soil, there's an important thing to be said about the pot. The pot should be small, at least appropriately proportioned with the plant so that it looks okay too. I basically have one that is so not small right now, but it was already a really small pot before that. And the most active growth, by the way, was exactly when the pot was small. The plant should fill completely with tubers. The entire volume of the pot. After that, growth begins. We're the base, we know that one. I've talked about it in probably every Zomia Kulkas video I've ever seen. But there are just always people who didn't know it anyway, one way or another. Not everyone watches my videos, so don't take offense to the fact that I repeat it in every video. 
because a lot of people don't know about it. And back to the topic of watering directly. It was watering the plants that I mastered, with water from the aquarium. It's as soft as possible. It still contains useful substances for plants, because I have fish living there, plants living there, it's a real bioenvironment. And a lot of very beneficial substances for the plant that will be like a natural fertilizer, almost the best for all plants, because it's not something we're inventing out of Vini, it's really from the natural environment. At the same time, you can water as much as you want, it won't be strong, no side effects from it. But what if you don't have an aquarium like most people? We take pure filtered water, preferably. Ah, uh, sure. If there is no filter option, you can water your plants with wastewater. I just recommend it in a case like this. I used to do this myself. Just fill up a large watering can with water, so you have it standing at your place at all times after watering. Here, dial it in now. Let's say you have it standing there for a couple days. Great. Water your plants and immediately dial it back in. Don't leave it empty. The water will be sedimented. That's a life-saving trick. The main thing, I do not advise you to water it directly with hard tap water because, of course, plants do not like this and snakebite is no exception here. That's all well and good, but what else can we bring to our daily plant care? More precisely not daily, but together with watering and care, what else can we add? And this is, of course, all kinds of fertilizers, fertilizers for this plant. Which, by the way, I have a lot, very much already prepared. On this channel, you can look at the recipes, it's all there for some different effects, for different feeding properties, some for growth, some for immunity and so on. So you can subscribe to the channel to not miss anything new and see what has already been filmed there is a lot of interesting, hopefully, and useful. Well, that's all the watering for now. We have today with you, I hope, the most basic, at least, disassembled right be sure to write any of your observations about this plant and care, which, perhaps, some little known. We can then add them to the next video, your observations, and a lot of people will know about them, and they'll help a lot of new plant growers, I want to say gardeners, well let's say home gardeners. Also, that this video will help the maximum number of plants to be healthy, beautiful, and growing, and happy in their owners. Share it with your friends so they will know too, and that way it will spread even more. Also rate this video, and that's the end of it. Thank you all for watching. Bye, everybody. I'll see you real soon.